Hello guy, what's up? How are you doing? Now, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at React routing. I'm sure you guys must have been thinking if you are new to React and you're watching this, oh, come on, Maestro, how does this work? How are we going to make sure that, okay, each um, component are going to render on individual pages? We can't just, you know, have everything jumbled up and that's not how websites works. It doesn't make sense that way. We need to have the component for the about um, page to for um the about component to render on the about page and for the contact to render on the contact page so react routing is the way we do that now react the react router is um a library that um react uses to make um single page applications possible so basically what it does it it renders um components depending on the url so that's what we're going to basically check that out so just calm down if you've been thinking okay how am i going to move on to doing this next so we're going to learn the basics of react routing and then um in the future um courses or playlist i'll be releasing on this um youtube channel which i'm releasing very soon then we are going to actually be looking more and more into how we can actually um take charge and bring out the full power extent of react router so let's quickly see a um quick demo of how the react router actually is i'm sure you've seen it before i've shown you uh the very first um lesson in this um playlist so but let's quickly look at it and so that we have a better better idea of how this works Okay, firstly, let's look at what we have here. We have, um, this is the application we're working on, but everything is rendered on the same page, which we don't want that. We don't want that to happen. And if we should click on this link, okay, slash about.html, doesn't actually work. It still um, stays here and still render the same thing. But let's look at the finished um, high, um, product, the finished project. So if I should come right here, we can see um, this particular project here now if i should click on about now we see it renders the about um page okay and the about component we have here uh, the about here the breadcrumbs and then we can see all of those stores right here um our skilled team right here okay we should come to services and then it renders okay the services component and you see how fast that was as in i don't have to refresh the page as in and right here um, we are using the same team component, but we can see the um, text is displaying right here is different. It's a bit um, different. Okay, let's go back to the about page. Our skill team and right here on the services, meet our capable team. And when we click on contact, you see very fast. And that's exactly what we're looking forward to. Exactly what we want. So how to make something like this and then everything is just moving so fast and so swift without um, we having to wait for uh reload and all of that lag that comes with it so that's basically what the react um router does and the process is called react routing so without any further ado let's dive into our code okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my terminal so come here to view and then click on terminal and then what you need to do is you are going to install the react router um Dumb. so that basically is what enables react router to um to be accomplished so what you have to do is npm install then react then router then dom so all you just have to do is um click on enter and this is going to install the react router for you but i don't i'm not going to do that right now because i already installed it and if i should check under my package.json right here we are going to see the react router dom installed as 5.2 point installed and i don't need to actually install it so i'm just going to close that and close this up now let me explain how the react router i think you need to know now the first thing is the browser router now the browser um router is what we are going to wrap everything all of our components in and then we have the route 
So basically what the route does is it tells, okay, rehack that, okay, for this particular route, maybe slash um, about, we want you to render this particular component and slash, okay, let's say contact, we want you to render the contact component. So, and then we have the switch. The switch is basically what um, makes the switching between each of these um, pages, like the rendering um, possible. So basically what we just have to do is install import it so i'm just going to come here import then from then react so we have the react router dump so what do we want to import exactly we want to import three things we want to in import the browser router From okay, want to install the browser router and then want to install route suite. Okay, what I can do is <clears throat> I can leave the browser router the way it is, but I can also import it as let's say my router or just let's say router. Now, depends on you, this is just to make it um look a bit um better when you're wrapping everything in it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap everything in our router that is the browser router so i'm just going to say the router and then i'm going to wrap every other thing right here okay so that has been wrapped so let's put this in a bit now, the next thing we need to do is, okay, use our switch. Now, the switch is going to, okay, depending on the component that you need to change. Now, I'm the component that I'm going to be re-rendering. Now, the header and the footer are basically still going to remain the same. So, the components we are going to be re-rendering are basically the home about the services and the contact. So, I'm going to delete, clear all of that. And then, I'm going to say, I'm going to use my switch right here. and then. Okay, now let's put this in a bit. Now, inside of switch, then we are now going to use the route. So, what I'm going to say is the route. Then, okay, it's going to take in a couple of parameters, and the first one is two, then equals to. So, where um is it going to? Which path? So for the home page, we're going to have the slash. So we don't need anything whenever it's automatically on the home page. So without slash anything. So that is what we want this. Oh, and this should. Okay. So and then we have to tell it the exact component we want to actually render. So then we say component then equals to. So which component do we want to actually render the home? Okay. So we have that. And then I'm just going to copy this. So then the slash about, then the slash um, services, and then the slash contact. So, and then for these, we're going to change the components here to about. And then here, we're going to change these here to services and then here we're going to change this to contact okay so we have the sets let's save and let's see how our app actually looks like now so i'm coming here and now let's see okay let's refresh that okay so component now since we're on the own component we specify that with that so come so let's say do some okay so let's quickly do something i'm going to come right here into our file and then the header okay and instead of just um hr we have equals to about the html i'm just going to make it about so let's see how that is going to work for us and then let's refresh that manually 
and then if I should click on this slash about now we see that the um, current URL we are in is slash about but if we should come here we are going to see that it's still rendering the home component so that's basically um, uh, something you have to note and we're going to basically tell it here that okay we are going to include another parameter and the parameter is going to be exact so this basically tells it that it should actually only render on the home component and not on the um on the home url and not on the other urls so let's save that and then let's come here now right here in about we can see that changed and we have the about components rendered on the url slash about and if you should go back to the home component okay And if you come back to the home com um, home page, we're going to see it renders the home um, component, and that is basically um, what React routing does. Now that's what it does. But now there are still some couple of things we need to actually use from React routing. Now the first is we don't want that. Okay, it should be reloading like this. No, we don't want something like that. So to make okay all of those smooth rendering and transition. Um, without any um, lag time, we're going to import something else from the React um, router DOM. So we're going to come here, wherever we're going to have a link, instead of using an a um, an anchor tag, we're going to say, okay, we want to import something from the React router DOM. So right here. So the React router DOM, what do we want to import? We want to import link. Now let's see how that works actually. So right here, instead of the a tag we're going to change it to link and here we're going to change it to link so now what it actually does is on the front end it actually turns it to an anchor tag but then um in the background it actually um works with the react router to do all of our routing and we're going to see how that works um in a bit so now instead of having href what the link takes in is something such as we have two so now we can still add class name and all of that so we have two and then here we're going to change this to okay two then we're going to say slash about and then here we're going to change this to two and then we're going to put it to slash services and then don't let um forget to change this to link so i'm going to select these and then link okay so we still have um for the contact button okay which is this guy here and then instead of hr we have we're going to change it to two and then remove the dot html and then make this slash and then okay i like this make this link all right i think that should work well so let's save and then let's come right here now if we should look here this is um just the home page then the about then slash services then slash contact let's click on the contact page and let's see what happens now we see that right here it's going to um render everything on spot so services yeah then the about then the home about services so if you actually do this and it's working because you've actually um done and learned how to re routing so this is what it is and it's just like creating a tabbed um, layout maybe with Valina JavaScript if you've ever done that before. It just does everything so fast and without you having to wait for a game, the browser. So congratulations once again and okay this is working fine but um, in the next lesson we're going to look at okay um, making our um, layout looking a bit better optimizing and fixing um some things we can see right here the breadcrumbs um as the breadcrumb is absent and then right here also and this is not looking so well right here everything right here is not looking so well in the services and unlike here if we check the services and we should have something looking so good and great like this and that's not happening so how do we fix all of that okay so we're going to look at that in the next lesson stay